we were driving and we were talking about I was pregnant with the twins and fast forward to before the twins pregnancy was existed I was pregnant and I went to the doctor the doctor was going to the doctor for a while was doing my checkup it was like a little bit three to four months of it was doing my checkup and something happened. There was something that happened, but I guess he didn't want it to say anything to me. So when he did his test, he was like, you know what, I think you should, I'm, I'm gonna set up an appointment for you, for you to go see some doctors that will be able to do an ultrasound to see what's going on. But at the time, he probably noticed that I was going through a miscarriage, but he didn't want it to say that to me, I guess. He doesn't want me to feel heartbroken or anything. So I went to the hospital, did the, um, the health sound, and during the ultrasound, the doctor, I can see that there was something wrong just by his reaction, the question that he was asking. And so finally he told me, you know, you're going through a miscarriage. And you know, he was like, you're going through a miscarriage, blah, 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 blah. And I was hurt, I was so hurt, and I was like, oh my gosh, because I got so comfortable with that pregnancy that four months of pregnancy and I feel hurt and I was so sad I went home I started seeing people there was people that like women that I was pregnant with at the same time and their bellies growing and growing and growing and like I'm getting so jealous because yeah I it wasn't planned for but it happened and then I was like excited about it but anyways I went through the miscarriage about I would say about a month after, went back to make my appointment, went back to the doctor. The doctor did a test. So he had gotten back everything from the hospital at the time to say that I was going through a miscarriage. So that's as far as you know, because I never went back to the doctor after that because I was like so torn. And when I went back about four months, four weeks after and I went there, it was like, hmm. was it four weeks? Either four or six weeks after. He held his head and he basically walked out of the room. He came back and he was like in shock because it's like, how could this happen? This is a miracle. She's like, I heard a heartbeat and the heartbeat is way too strong. It's so strong and this is a miracle. You just walk out of here a few weeks ago and nothing, you know, and miscarriage and whatever and now and then anyway, so he's like, okay, I'm gonna send you back to the doctor because I want you to be able to do another another ultrasound so they can find out what's going on again because the heartbeat is so strong. So he was like, the heartbeat sounds so strong. It doesn't sound as if you had a miscarriage. It sounds like a baby is growing bigger and bigger and bigger because it's so strong. So he was like, it's a miracle. So we, um, I went back to the doctor then while I was doing the ultrasound, the doctor said, how many kids do you have? I said, I have two. He goes, um, are they boys or girls? I said, one boy and one girl. And then he goes, well, you'll be having four. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm like four. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And he was only able to see the boy and the other, um, the girl he couldn't have seen. He couldn't see the girl at that time, but he was able to tell me that there was a boy for sure, but he wasn't sure of the other sex. But I kind of knew, I dreamt about it, and I'll tell you guys the story another time. But I did dream about, I probably have mentioned it before, I dreamed, saw a blue bin and a pink bin, and I didn't know what which to choose from. And when he said that to me, and then he told me that they're not identical twins, they're fraternal twins, so I knew it was a boy and a girl. No one had to tell me that. I remember dreaming seeing that blue and a pink bin. Yeah, so um, when I went back and he realized that it was twin this time I was pregnant with, he was in a praise mode. He was in a praise mode. He, he was like, this is so, this is a miracle. You lost one and you gained back two. And he was just going off. And it was, I believe that I wasn't in so much of a, sh of a shock. I was in a shock, but mm, he was more in a shock than myself. And I guess to me, when I was thinking about it, I thought, you know what? Yes, it is a miracle. Um, but God had done it in a way where he can see how God still works miracle, how God still provide, how, how God still look after his children, how God can take your pain and, and, and turn it into uh, joy, into victory. 
So he saw that and he was happy for me. And that's basically the story that I want to tell you guys because I was driving and it came back to me and I'm like, I should share that with my YouTubers. So I hope you guys have a great day, a great week and a great month. And don't forget to head over to my um, website and grab you some, you know, guides to help you through. And, you know, if you want to buy my ebook, it's just $9.95 and you get a lot of freebies with it. So see you guys on my website. Hope you guys have a great day, a great week, and a great month.